Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLifestyle.com In this video we're going to have a look at what's new with Windows 10 Mobile in the anniversary update I've already done a version of this for the PC There's quite a lot of changes in the PC version Less so in mobile, but many of the changes with mobile with the PC version have come across to mobile So what I'll do is I'll talk through some of the features, the ones that I like and uh, what's new on it and um, I've also got for quick comparison to look at the original build another phone here and I'll also talk about how you can get the build later on in the video as well so what's changed well this is coming out um, August 2nd the new build of Windows 10 and this will be delivered through to your phone through the update system which I'll, like I said I'll talk about more later there's quite a lot of subtle changes with this and the very first one really and the main change I can see is in Action Center which are the notifications that come through here into Windows 10 so um, I'll show you one of those and uh, perhaps I can give you an idea of what it looks like and then we can see the difference so there we see a notification coming through and hopefully my test phone will bring this through in a sec doesn't matter if it doesn't because I wanted to show you really if we the notifications come through like that you can reply to them but you'll notice here now all these notifications grouped together so these are Tweetium messages that I've got three together then Outlook three, three together then Facebook and then the Windows Store we'll come back to the Windows Store in a moment I notice all the, they've also got images as well Okay, so these notifications are now coming through on my test phone, and so now you see I've just got that list, and then I've got more notifications there, which takes me into the app. So I haven't got as much control over them. So let me go back onto here to be in better focus, and I can show you what I mean. So here we've got the apps grouped together. So I've got th the first three notifications, and um, what I can do, I can reply to them in there as well. But also, if I go into all settings and have a look at notifications, so you can see there, let's say um, Microsoft Health, I can tap on that and I can choose how many actions are visible. So I can say, say I only want the current one, you want one action from, uh, or one notification from the Health app, and I want it to be a top priority, or I can say I want three and it wants to be normal priority. Whereas maybe on Cortana, which gives me the alerts and things like that, has to go on the top priority and maybe I give Cortana 5 as well. So we were looking at tweeting before, weren't we? So let me just flick down to that. Tweetium is on the, uh, is on normal, but I only want, uh, I want 5 of those. Okay. So now we've got five, and then the three, and so on. So you've got much more control over the um, notifications and how they come up. And I think they just look better in in this build as well. It, 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 it's a nicer experience with the messages, the way, the way they come through um, on here than it is on the old build. Also, when you notifications as well, and we'll do one from Cortana set, you get nice big images as well. Other thing you can do um, in this act, new action and uh, notification settings is you can rearrange these. You couldn't do that on the previous version. So if I use Bluetooth a lot, I can drag that over there and position that exactly where I want it as well. So that's that's new as well. While I was in there as well, you should have a look at the settings. You notice you've got the icons now as you go into the individual settings sections, whereas bef before they didn't. Um, so a lot more control and polished look for notifications and action center. See, this is the old v version. So the example is an older, uh, is the old build with the old app notifications. So you really only had um, a few settings, and now you've got these advanced settings. And like I said, settings has, has uh, been tidied up as well. It looks a lot better with these icons on there. There's quite a few differences in the settings, uh, and we'll talk through those as we go through the the different um, items on the menu. One of those I'll talk about is battery. Battery um, has been improved. Um, 
what you can do now here on the battery is uh, you can give app priority usage by app you know so apps can have individual battery priority so there's a map now this is quite high because I've been using it so you can tap on an app like that and you can see there Cortana is managed by Windows but you can say I never allow this in background so maybe the Microsoft Health app uh, is bugging you with battery life for whatever reason and you can prevent that from running or you can say it always runs depends on what you want to do or you can let Windows manage it so that's a, a new setting that I think just gives you a bit extra flexibility and control All right, let's have a look at the Windows Store there's been some changes to the Windows Store mainly visual changes I have to say um, but it does feel a little bit faster and a um, bit more reliable you can see here that um, this has got this new look to it and if you go to the available update screen you can see it looks like that. it's a bit I'm not sure about this idea of it spaced out like that I don't know why they don't stop shift that up a bit and make that look a bit neater but you've got that now but what's interesting there is you've got your recent activity so it shows you what's been recently updated and the build numbers as well so if you're set for automatic updates then you're not going to miss out on changes on there so you can see what's happened so I think that's a good idea and when you do go into an app there's a new detail screen which uh, this just mirrors exactly the PC version showing you what it's available on what platforms and um, the system requirements so the minimum build numbers and that kind of thing so uh, a bit more extra extra information there I have generally found it a bit more reliable Cortana's had quite a few no uh, changes in there one of being is around uh, reminders so you can use a standard Windows share item share things to create reminders so I can go to a web page and uh, there's a web page and I can use the Windows sharing icon, I can share it to Cortana and this will now create me a new notification and you can share pictures, you can share anything really that uses the standard share uh, notification. If you share a nice picture, in fact let me do that, if you share a picture it comes up quite nicely as well, the notifications. Okay, so let me share this picture share with Cortana, uh, remember to look so I can say look at this in an hour um, or I can change that to say 17 let's change it to 48 okay change it to 49 remind there we go so I've created that reminder so that's a new and there you go, there's a pop up of the reminder. You see, you get a nice visual reminder on there, and um, I'll snooze that. And that would go up there in the Cortana section if I already snoozed it. So that's a new reminder. It works web pages, photos, emails, Twitter, tweets, anything that you can share through Windows will, will come through there. I like that. The other good thing about this is all these notifications from Cortana get pushed through to Windows 10 if you're running the anniversary update. So you can see that in action on my Windows 10 video. Uh, so all these notifications are going through to my Windows 10 machine and I can see that these are uh, these um, messages coming through. It also pushes text messages, missed calls and battery, low battery notifications. Another well, change is uh, Microsoft Edge. Is, um, I've got a few new features. There's no extensions like there are on uh, on other on the PC version, but you have got things like swipe back navigation, which I think is quite nice, and you can swipe forward as well. There's a lot of subtle changes in it that I'm probably missing because I've been with these builds now for so long that I've sort of got used to seeing them. I've been on these test builds for a while, but you can see. And by the way, that reminder has just come through on my surface, so. That's showing you that how that that does work, and you can see that in the PC video. But I think the whole the whole thing with the the way that the start looks like that, with the the, the action center and notifications, the all settings work. The, the settings look better. They've all been tweaked and improved. Um, a, a cleaner interface. Um, a couple of things like if you tap on say that Wi-Fi, it taps it on and off before it took you to the menu. To get to the menu to pick your Wi-Fi networks, you tap and hold now, and that works the same for Bluetooth as well. And uh, I think things like, things like Bluetooth have been improved as well. So how do you get the update? Well, 
pretty simple really um, you don't have a lot of choice if you've got a supported device you go to update security phone update and you do check for updates and that will bring down the update once it's released to your carrier uh, this is always a bit complicated because the bills to come from Microsoft approved by carriers so depending on your region and your device you might not get it just yet so it's going to take longer to roll out I think than the PC version the supported devices are the uh, any devices that supported Windows 10 that uh, effectively got one gig of memory or more so this little 630 that I've been testing Windows 10 doesn't support um, isn't one of the supported devices this one um, will stay on the Threshold 2 builds and it won't get a newer build this Lumia 950, 950 XL uh, will get the builds as well so check, uh, I'll try and include a link on the, in the um, on the digitallifestyle.com that goes with it to show you which device to get it but basically if you've got a, new, a 950, 950 XL, 650, 550 um, I think the 930s and the 1520s are supported these little phones with the 512 uh, gig RAM uh, aren't supported. So that's my real quick look at what's new in Windows 10 anniversary update for mobile. I'm sure I've missed a few things. Like I said, I've been playing with this build for so long now that I've forgotten what's what's there and what wasn't there. But uh, it's definitely worth getting if you can get it. Um, I would, you know, no hesitation but to get that on. And you can look at our videos actually, go back on our YouTube channel right to the early builds of Windows 10 and have a look at how it's changed since the initial release to, to what we've got now. And don't forget to check out our PC video, there's lots of stuff on there as well with the blog post that goes with it. So thanks for watching this and you can find more on the digitallifestyle.com, at iSticks on Twitter and on our YouTube channel.